Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix low FPS and stuttering issue with Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga game on your Windows computer. Now the first step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now this has worked for many users, so it might work for you. So type in graphic settings in Windows search box and then click on graphic settings. Now click on browse. Now go to the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed. So open program files x86. Then open the steam folder. Now open steam apps folder. Now open the common folder. Over here you will find the game folder. In my case it's in D drive. So steam folder, steam apps, common. Then open the game folder. Now select the game exe file. Then click on add. Now in my case the game is already added. So once the game is added, click on the game and then click on options, select high performance and then click on save. Now launch the game. Now for Nvidia users, make a right click on the desktop, then click on Nvidia control panel. Now go to manage 3D settings and then click on program settings and then click on add. Now find the game in the list and then click on add selected program. If you don't find the game over here, then click on browse and again go to the game installation folder, select the game exe file, then click on open. Once the game is added over here, click on this drop down option, select high performance Nvidia processor and on the bottom right here you can see apply options. So click on apply and then launch the game. Now, now if you use if you have desktop, then in that case, make sure that you connect the display cable or HDMI cable to the dedicated graphic card slot instead of inbuilt integrated slot. So make sure that your display cable is connected to the graphic discrete graphic card. Now the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have Nvidia card, go to Nvidia website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for Nvidia. Go to NVIDIA website, select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card over here and select the right operating system and then click on start search and then scroll down. This is the latest driver. Click on get download and then click on download now. Now once the download is complete, run this exe file. Now you will see this screen. Click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next. And then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then click on next and after the clean installation restart you can now the next step is to try to launch the game in window borderless mode and lower down graphics settings so first of all launch the game from here now go to video options and then over here select window mode so put a check on window mode and then save the settings and then launch the game now if that does not work again go to video options this time select window mode and then put a check on the box which says borderless and then lower down resolution also lower down graphics settings so if everything is set to high you can try medium or low so select medium or low now save the settings and then check the performance now the next step is to verify the game file to verify the game file make a right click on the game select properties go to the local files tab then click on verify integrity of game files and after the verification launch the game Next step is to update your windows. Make sure that your windows is up to date for this. Go to the st start menu, click on settings, go to update and security and then click on check for update. And once all the updates are installed, restart your computer and then launch the game. Now the next step is to disable steam overlay for this. Make a right click on the game, select properties, uncheck the box which says enable the steam overlay while in game. Uncheck this and then launch the game. Also close all the overlay applications. So if you have discord running, Close Discord. Now, if you have GeForce Experience running, close GeForce Experience. So, close all the overlay application. Also, close all the overclocking application. So, if you have MSI Afterburner running, close MSI Afterburner. If you have Reva Tuner running, close Reva Tuner. So, make sure that you close all the overclocking application and then launch the game. 
So one of the steps should help you to get the issue resolved. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.